How's it going everybody? So it looked like Aurora Cannabis to buy Mexican partner Farmacias Magistrales in a stock deal just days after Aurora Cannabis Inc. announced a supply deal with Mexico's Farmacias Magistrales SA. The Canadian cannabis company said it has entered a letter of intent to buy the company in a stock deal. Farmacias is Mexico's first and for now only federally licensed importer of raw materials containing THC, a psychoactive ingredient in cannabis, and has facilities to store and distribute medical products with more than 1% THC. The deal will give the company access to a market with more than 130 million people. Farmacias has about 80,000 retail outlets for selling CBD products and 500 pharmacies and hospitals to sell THC products. Aurora will pay for the deal with stock based on valuation of the pro forma revenue distribution projections of Farmacias. So with this acquisition, look at that. It has, they have access to all, obviously the population of Mexico, which is 130 million people. But they get 80,000 retail outlets to sell their products and about 500 uh, hospitals to sell their products as well. That's awesome. That's, that's just a ton more revenue for them to bring in. And this is exactly what you want to see with your company. Keep on expanding into different places around the world. They, they're obviously trying to become one of the best international brands for cannabis in the whole world. As you see, they keep expanding all over the place. And I believe they're gonna keep on expanding until they're the number one cannabis seller out there, you know? <laughs> and let's actually look at the charts. And as you see in the past, in just the past week, stock is up 24%. And as you see, it hasn't been very the best month for any cannabis company out there. With, it's been low to about $5.28, but since then it has bounced back. And if we see from the one year chart, right around, once it passes the 550 mark, it seems to explode upwards. 550 goes up all the way up, goes back down, 550 goes up. So we're probably gonna see another big bounce back. Probably will not happen until their earnings report which I probably think will they'll probably do very well since they just keep on expanding. And this is the real quarter in which the legalization of cannabis in Canada is gonna be, the numbers are gonna be, it's actually gonna show instead of last quarter where it, where it really didn't show anything. And that's what I wanna see. I wanna see how they do next quarter. I think they're obviously gonna be expectations, but you never know. And when we thought that Canopy growth was going to be expectations. It did not. It actually really did. It didn't do really good at all. So we're going to have to see how Aurora Cannabis will do in the next earnings. But I do believe that they're doing very well as of right now, even though that it's not really showing that it's doing very well, as you see. But for me, this is just a great time to start stacking up some Aurora Cannabis shares before it explodes yet again. This time in the market is just super volatile. Say 10% swings up and down any, every day basically, or every week. And that's just how it's gonna be for a while. And that's the end of the video everybody. Please drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one.